Welcome all to the programming screencast of Facebook Sentiment Analysis. I'll be going step by step and explain you how to do Facebook Sentiment Analysis. We'll be giving you background of Sentiment Analysis and other things too. So let us start with the programming screencast. So first of all, what do you have to do in here is, first of all, you have to download the Facebook data and store it in Excel file. I'll show you how can you download the Facebook data. For that, you must log in to your Facebook account. So here is my Facebook account. I have already logged in here. First of all, you need to download your Facebook data. How can you do that? For that, you must go to the settings in your profile. As you are saying, I'll go to the settings. Here, I have your Facebook information. As you can see, I have a tab on the left pane, your Facebook information. So click on that. Here is my Facebook information. Here I have download your information. You can download a copy of your information to keep or to transfer to another service. So click on that view. As you all can see, I have my Facebook account information here. I have the information in the form of posts, photos and videos, comments, likes and reactions, friends, etc, etc. So first of all, you need to create a file here. You can see this button, create file. Click on this. As you can see, here it is written, your file is being processed. We'll let you know when it's complete. So it will take some time to create the file and then you can download your file. Yes. So I have already downloaded my Facebook information. I'll, I'll show you. Here I have Facebook and my username. And you can see I have all the information in here. I have about you. I have friends, my followers, messages, pages payment history, everything is stored here. So when you will create file here and download your file, you will be your information will be downloaded in the form of these folders. Yes, you will be given one zip folder. And in that folder, you will be given this information, you will be given the information about your friends, about your groups, likes, reactions, messages, everything will be there. So here is our information. What you need to do next is you need to store this information in an Excel file. Yes. So I'll just uh, show you. For example, I have folder here named post. So I'll just click here. Here I have my post, other people's post to my timeline and my own post too. So I have opened this page. So here is my post. It is basically your post. That means only my posts are shown here. These are all the posts that I have posted on my timeline. So what you need to do here is you need to store this post in a in an Excel file. For that, I have created an Excel file. For example, here, all the posts I have stored in an Excel file. So you need to do the same thing. You need to just copy your post from this HTML file and you need to paste this these posts in an Excel file. Okay, I'll repeat how can you download your Facebook data. First of all, you need to go to the settings in your Facebook profile. In settings, you will be given Facebook information. You need to click on the Facebook information tab on the left pane. After going there, you will be asked to download your information here. First of all, you need to create file. The file or the folder will be created and you'll be given a folder like this. You'll be given a folder like this. Here you will be having each and every information related to your Facebook profile, information regarding your friends, your post, network information. So this is how you can download your Facebook data. For our program, you need to save this information in an Excel file. So you pick any folder. For example, I picked post and then I opened your post.html, which came like this. 
and I stored these posts in an Excel file. I just copied these posts and stored it in it in an Excel file. As you can see, these are all the posts that I have stored here. Okay, so you just save this post in an excel file and save this file we'll be using this file for our program this is how you can download your facebook information and store it in in facebook and store it in excel file so first and the foremost step is you need to download your facebook data and store it in an excel file then what you need to do is you need to import the pandas library it what purpose does it serve it provides easy to use data structure for data analysis we will get to know how what are these data structures eventually in our programming screencast then you need to import the nltk library it is a library which is used to process human language yes it is a library which is used to process human language what does NLTK do here? It provides sentiment analysis of human data. So what is sentiment analysis? Sentiment analysis involves working out whether a piece of text is positive, negative or neutral. For example, if I ask you, how are you? This is a neutral sentence. And if I say I'm very, very happy today, this is a positive sentence. And if I say I don't know where my life is going and I'm very sad. So this is a negative sentence. So sentiment analysis involves working out a piece of text and figuring out what whether it is positive, negative or neutral. So this is sentiment analysis. So what we'll be uh, doing here is the file that you have stored, the post that you have stored in an Excel file, will be analyzing them. We'll be analyzing them on the basis of sentiment analysis. We'll be analyzing your post, that whether your posts are negative, positive or neutral. So this is Facebook sentiment analysis. Then we will use Vader. What is Vader? Vader is Valence Aware Dictionary and Sentiment Reasoner. Yes, Vader, it is used for sentiment analysis, but it not only really tells you whether a piece of text is positive, negative or neutral. It also takes into account the intensity of the sentiment. Yes, it also takes into account the intensity of the sentiment. What do I mean by that? For example, I said I'm very, very happy today. That it will also tell me that it this sentence is 80% positive or 70% positive. It will also tell me the sent, uh, intensity of my sentiment. Okay, so we'll be using Vader here. Vader stands for Valence Aware Dictionary and Sentiment Niesner. It takes into account the intensity of the sentiment. So you need to download the Vader lexicon. What is the lexicon? Lexicon acts as a dictionary here. Lexicon acts as a dictionary here. And uh, then you need to convert your Excel sheet that you have created to data frame with the help of pandas. What is a data frame? A data frame is a two dimensional structure in the form of a table. So pandas provides you with the data frame facility. As I said, pandas uh, provides you easy to use data structure and data frame is one of them. We'll be using them in our program. So this is a step by step guide to our program. How can we do Facebook sentiment analysis? I know some of the things are not clear here. When we'll do programming screencast, everything will become clear here. So I'll just revise what we have done till now. First of all, you need to download your Facebook data. You need to log in to your Facebook account and then you need to go to settings and download your Facebook information there. You need to store uh, your information in an Excel file that I have already explained. Then you need to import the pandas library. It basically provides you easy to use data structure for data analysis. Then you need to import NLTK library. NLTK library will help you to process the human language. It will basically help you to analyze the human data. It will help you in sentimental analysis of human data. Sentiment analysis involves working out whether a piece of text is positive, negative or neutral. I have already given you an example of a positive, neutral and negative sentences. Then we will not be using only NLTK, we will be using Vader too because Vader also takes into account the intensity of the sentiment. Yes. 
and then you need to download the weighted lexicon lexicon acts as a dictionary here you also need to convert your excel sheet that you have created to a data frame what is a data frame data frame is basically a two dimensional structure in the form of table which is provided by pandas library so this is it uh, now we'll be proceeding to the programming screencast in the next video thank you